Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to my championship prediction. The midweek games have passed, they're the results I'm going to talk about. Um, there's a few shocks, you know, a few games that didn't go expected to plan. There's a few surprises that surprised me anyway, I don't know about you guys, but please tell me how your team got on. Um, and are you looking forward to this weekend? Are you going away, for example? Um, you know, I'm always interested to know what your guys are up to, so please feel free to get in the conversation down in the comments below or either via social media. Um, but anyway, guys, you know what I do. So, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So, the first game we're going to talk about is Charlton Athletic versus Hull City. Um, Hull losing 2-0 to Leagues away from home. Um, you know, it's again that's probably most expected. Um on the other side of things, Chelton losing two uh, one nil at home to Huddersfield, probably a bit less unexpected. Um that put Huddersfield on twenty one points now. So, you know, it's closing up um between the, I'll say, what, uh, Stoke on 17. So, you know, it's literally a couple of points between Derby in 16th and Huddersfield in 22nd. Um, the only two that are really getting carried away with themselves is the top two, both for 46 points. Um, a slight table change this week. I'll talk more about it when I get down to their fixtures. But there's 11 points between Fulham and West Brom, so it's coming to two horse race at the top. Um, but, you know, disappointing day for Charlton um, overall. I think that Charlton were expected to win that game. Um, no disrespect to Huddersfield. And, you know, they didn't. Um, Hull, as I said, result was probably expected. But as far as this result goes... I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Birmingham City versus West Brom. Um, West Brom drawing 1-1 one, one away to Wigan. Um, Birmingham City losing 2-0 at home to QPR. Um, this Wigan-West Brom result was one of the results that I was expecting West Brom to win. Um, no disrespect to Wigan. Um, pretty much the same on the Birmingham front. I mean, I wasn't expecting QPR to, you know, win 2 0. I think I put it down for a draw, and that's what I was expecting. Um, or just perhaps a Birmingham win, I was ever so slightly. But it didn't happen, so fair play to QPR and fair play to Wigan for the um, one all scoreline and a vital point that could be for Wigan. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'm going to put it back on West Brom. Expect to get back on the winning trail to keep the pressure up on the leagues. And I'll go for a 2-1 West Brom and Albion win. My next one is Barnsley versus QPR. Um, Barnsley, 1-1 one, one at home to Reading. Great point, I think, that is for Barnsley. The only disappointing thing is I knew that they went 1-0 up. QPR beating Birmingham City 2 0 away from home. Um, as I said, great three points for QPR, fair play to him. Um, still think that's a great point for Barnsley. As I said, the only disappointing thing is about that result is that Barnsley did go 1 0 up and you know, just couldn't hold the lead. I think uh, Redden equalised quite late on as well, if I remember rightly. Um, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but as far as this result goes, Barnsley are at home. Barnsley in desperate need of the three points. Um, QPR sitting in 12th um, and slightly looking at the playoff places. Um, so I'm going to put this game on QPR and I'll go for a 2-1 QPR win. My next one is a bit of a London derby. It's Brentford versus Fulham. Um, now, Fulham losing 2-1 away to Preston North End. Um, Brentford beating Cardiff City 2-1 at home. Um, I actually watched that Fulham game and 
I think Preston's is uh, valuable. There's a one or two things I want to mention on the Preston front, but I'll talk about that when I get down to their fixture. Um, but, you know, disappointing day for Fulham. Um, Brentford, uh, you know, sitting seventh in the table. This is very much a table switching game. If, for example, Brentford win, they could possibly knock Fulham outside the playoffs. It all goes on other results as well, obviously. Um, but this can be very interesting, but I'll go for a one on scoreline for that one. My next one is Bristol City versus Blackburn Rovers. Um, Blackburn 1 1 away to Swansea City. Bristol City losing 2 1 at home to Millwall. Um, disappointing day for Bristol City. Um, I also think that's a great point for uh, Blackburn. Um, you know, even though the lights it is tight between them, a point of peace, and either the point of peace now drawing them points, um, you know, even goal difference is the same. So, you know, but I still think that's a great point for Blackburn. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 nil Blackburn when Bristol City are really underperforming at home of late. Um, I know when I do a lot of their home games that they've lost or drawn, um, when they go away they seem to, I don't know, pick up better results. I don't know why it is, but um, anyway, my next one is Derby County versus Millwall. Um, Millwall beating Bristol City 2-1 away from home. Um, great three points for Millwall. Derby County 1-1 at home to Sheffield Wednesday. Yet again, Derby are really disappointing this season compared to last season. Um, you know, I'm looking at the last of Reading when they nearly got promoted to the Premier League, missed out in the playoffs. Um, and, you know, it, it seems to happen more than once in this division. And it makes it slightly more interesting from you know, me to predict games and stuff like that. Uh, but as far as this one goes, I'll go for another 1-1 one -one for this one. Don't forget there's four 1-1s one -ones on Tuesday night as well. Um, my next one is Leeds United versus Cardiff City. Leagues beating Hull City 2-0 at home. Cardiff City losing 2-1 away from home to Brentford. Um, right, Leeds the top of the championship now because of West Brom drawn that game on goal difference. There's only a goal between them. Um, Leeds on plus 22 goal difference and West Brom on plus 21. Um, this game is going to be interesting. But I'm going to stick up for Leeds and I'm going to go for a 3 1 Leeds win. My next one is Nottingham Forest versus Sheffield Wednesday. Um, I know Nottingham Forest had a disappointing day, drawing 1-1 one -one at home to Middlesbrough. Sheffield Wednesday, 1-1 um, one -one away to Derby County. Not Forest, disappointing day overall. Um, you know, the likes of Middlesbrough, no disrespect to Middlesbrough, managed to get out of the bottom three now, um, I think it's... The previous weekend, we're currently sitting on 21 points. Um, but Notch Forest, I'll definitely put them down to win that game. Slightly disappointed if I was a Notch Forest fan. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday point of view, probably, a, you know, I think that's a great point. There's a bit of a middle table clap. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Nottingham Forest win. My next one, and there is some big talking points coming up. Is Preston versus Luton Town. Right, we all know about VAR not being in the championship. We all know that referees are in training for bringing it in next season. I reckon Preston have had two red cards, not just the one. Um, watching it, like I said, I, I was. Um, we all know VAR was in play, that would have been a straight red. And this is my argument with 
If you don't, you don't want VAR, this is what we're looking at. Um, if you want a fair, more, you know, open game, then VAR does need to come in. Um, why I'm asking this question, um, do you think that VAR is good for the championship? Please feel free to, you know, join in the conversation. Um, but as far as the results go, um, Preston, uh, Luton, I'll go with Luton first. Um, Luton losing 3 0 away to Stoke. Um, Preston beat a film 2 1 at home. As I said, I think Preston lost two on the bounce prior to that game. So that's a big three points for Preston. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Preston win. I was expecting that win just to lift them up a bit. Um, my next one is Stoke versus Reading. Um, Stoke beating Luton Town 3 0 at home. Great, a uh, big three points and great three points for uh, Stoke there. Reading drawing 1 1 away to Barnsley. Great point for Reading as well, considering they went 1 0 down. Um, this game is very much bottom of the table clash. Uh, Reading on 20. 22 points, sorry, um, just need to double check, um, and Stoke on the 17, so a win this week for Stoke, um, and a loss for Luton can bring Stoke out the relegation zone, so it's a big game for both clubs, and I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Swansea City versus Middlesbrough, uh, Swansea... 1-1 one, one at home to Blackburn, uh, Middlesbrough 1-1 one, one away to Nottingham Forest. Um, you know, great point um, for Middlesbrough. This game is yet again um, not quite at the bottom of the table clash, but could be a big point or three points for Middlesbrough. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Swansea City win. My last one for this weekend is Wigan Athletic versus Huddersfield. Um, Huddersfield won their winners away to Cheltenham. Um, Wigan won one at home to West Brom. Great point for Wigan. Um, big three points for Huddersfield as well. Um, this is neither a bottom of the table clash, but... Um, it could give Reading, uh, not Reading, Wigan, a big chance of survival. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 0 0 scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.